Hello, I'm Jenny Yo. Thank you for joining me today on my show, Exploring with Jenny Yo, where we discuss everything and nothing is off limits. Today's topic is 10 ways to show appreciation to your man. Number 10, buy or make him sweet and thoughtful gifts. Men love to get presents too, and not just on the holidays. Why don't you try giving him something in January, or maybe something in March? He'll appreciate it so much more, you'll see. Number nine, make and go on dates with him regularly for one-on-one -on -one time. It keeps the relationship fresh. Many couples, from, my, from what I know and also from my own experience, get so comfortable in a relationship that they forget to date their partner. Try it out. You'll see. Just It doesn't even have to be expensive. Just walk down the street or even if you want to stay inside, you can just watch a movie, eat some popcorn, drink some cocoa. It's a whole lot of fun for that special moment with the special person that you love. Number eight, offer and give him massages and gentle touches. Men love being touched usually. Now this is a really, this is a really big one. Anything that involves rubbing, touching, anything physical, men love. Try it out. Number seven, hug him tenderly when he is feeling sad. They might not show it well, but men need affection like that as well. Ladies, this is a big one. Sometimes men will not come to you to let you know they need a hug, but they do. Especially if you see that he's feeling sad, he had a hard day at work. Just give him a little bit to cool down and then just give him a hug. He will hug you back. I am sure. Hopefully he will hug you back. Okay, listen up. This is actually a huge one. I should have wrote huge instead of big. Ask him how he is feeling. This is big. Many men do not talk about their feelings because they do not want to seem too soft but they feel things just as emotionally deeply as some women. They are not made of stone, even though a lot of men try to be macho. Uh, let's say they get dumped by some girl. They say, oh man, don't worry. I'll just have about five more on my, on my phone in, in a day or so. No, he's lying. He's probably gonna go home and just start crying in the bed and turn all the lights off under his blankets. But anyways, ask your man how he is feeling. If he won't tell you how he is feeling, just give him space. Give him a little bit of space, but let him know that you are there for him if he needs to talk to you about his feelings. There's nothing weak about showing feelings. I really like this one. Number five, make exciting and romantic love to him. Most men love sexual stimulation. Express your deep love for him in this creative and exhilarating way. If he's feeling sad, this will definitely make him feel better. There really is no more explanation for this one. But see, women, we also like affection like that. Um, romantic affection like that many women probably do not tell it tell their significant other that they like it like it because they don't want to seem what like a slut or a whorish but secretly a lot of us do like that too number four make a full effort to try and understand him 
All men are different in different ways. Try to understand your man's uniqueness and not lump him into a category with the men who have hurt you before him. Because that will kind of really put a damper on your relationship. There are some good men out there, but there are also some bad men. If you have had men in your past who have really hurt you, please do not try and make make your make it seem like your good man is the bad man. Because that will really seriously mess up the relationship. If anything, try to work on the own your own issues that you may have and it will it will really help your relationship. Try to talk to your friends or maybe even seek counseling if it's really that bad. Number three, and this is huge. Listen to him when he speaks to you about anything. Some men take a while to get out what they're trying to say. Wait for him to speak and not talk over him. And when I say anything, I mean anything. It could be sports, it could be about what politics, it can be about just, you know, random things, uh, some guy down the street, some girl, some girl down the street or whatever. But the reason this is so important because it teaches your spouse or a significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, it teaches them that you will listen to them regardless of what they're talking about. If he's talking about his feelings, this is a rare find. Make sure you listen to him or her. It's very important. Number two, accept him unconditionally. Many men love when their woman accepts them for who they are and not try to change him. Compromise with him about changing some things if it will improve the relationship. Remember, you are not his mother. I hear a lot of men tell me, they're, oh, my woman is trying to change me. My woman is trying to change me. You don't want to try to change him. What are you, you going to change him into? Something, Someone like you? Would you want him to try to change you into his ideal woman? Um... Everybody's different. Just just accept him for who he is unconditionally. If it's if it's nothing that'll get you arrested, the unconditional part, like if he's a drug dealer, oh by all means do not accept that. Because not only is that illegal, but it can endanger you. It also if you have children, it can endanger your children. But I mean things like when you accept your man unconditionally, let's say Let's say he has a really long beard and he's had it for years and he loves it. Please don't try to please don't try to make him shave it. If it's some if it's something really really dear to him and it's something deep in his heart that he loves so much, um, you can always compromise things in a relationship. That's what a relationship is about, compromise. If it's something like um, he has long hair or Maybe he even has an afro that he doesn't want to cut. Just accept him for who he is. And who knows, maybe he might cut it, not just to please you, but to also please himself. Maybe he might cut it shorter or something. But um, unconditional love is one, one of the most important type of love that you can ever find. Number one, tell him how much you appreciate him. Your man loves to hear the different ways he has helped you or provided for your family. Men also love to hear the little things like your appreciation of him opening doors or taking out the trash, giving you, giving you comfort. Tell him all the wonderful ways he has made your life so much better. This is definitely a must. There is not one person on this planet who does not like to hear how much someone appreciates them. That can be through thank you or um, 
so just saying I appreciate you. I appreciate you for this. I appreciate you for listening to me. I appreciate you for holding me when I'm crying. I appreciate you for not yelling at me. That's one of the things I hate being yelled at. I appreciate you for just being there for me when I was on hard times. I appreciate you for lifting me up, for encouraging me to run my own business, for encouraging me to um, to take that modeling job, or for encouraging me to work outside the home, for encouraging me, or even thanking me for making you a really good meal, or for giving you tips on your own job, or how to deal with your coworkers. There are many ways to show and tell somebody you appreciate them, especially telling your man that you appreciate him. Um, ladies, all I can say is just do it. Just He's a person just like you, and just like many people, they love to hear good things. Positivity can always uplift somebody when they're feeling down, usually. Usually that's the case. Thank you so much for tuning in to Exploring with Genial. I hope this message really helps some, some people out, you know. Um, our next show will be 10 Ways to Show Appreciation to Your Woman. I flipped it around so that the men will also know good ways to show appreciation to their women. I am not an expert. I am just somebody who is in the school of life. I have, I'm not old either, but... I have experienced a lot of things in my life, and I just want to try to share with everyone. Um, um, maybe it can help somebody. That is that is my ultimate goal, is to help somebody out there. Well, thank you so much. If you like this, please like and also subscribe to my channel. I try to upload at least once per week, and every message is different. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful